everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. We are, we are back. Um, in the last episode, we, we did a few more, I think it was Astral Sorcery stuff, and we made a second, a second ATM star. We should, I believe, have two of them. Two ATM stars. They're beautiful. I know, I know. Um, I would like to make some more, but there are a few challenges and little side things that we should, uh, we should cover as well. Like, obviously, our goal is to make a few more, but, um, for instance, we need emeralds, so I'm going to try something out with that. As you can see, we have a bunch of different things, uh, bookmarked here. There's also some issues we had in the last episode that we should be able to fix. Um, some of them using d -d 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 a star metal cutting tool. We have our indestructible one. Uh, I'm actually going to bring out this stuff. I'm also going to get an item collector, if we have one of these. Beautiful. Um, and then, honestly, I think that's it. So, there's some cool things we can do. L let me head over to the astral sorcery area. Alright, so here we are. Now, a, a few things happen here. One is, we do some cool astral sorcery stuff. The second thing is there's some automation. Right here we have aquamarines being made. Um, over here we have star metal being made. But we need star metal dust. And on top of that, we need this guy to automatically be refilled with um, liquid starlight whenever it's empty, right? Um, so, there are, there are a few things. There are a few things. One of them involved a fluid placer. I think it's possible a constructor would do the same. Um... I might try and make both, just to see what sort of options they have, because m my issue currently is, like, I believe I could, like, place another bucket in a spot that already had the liquid, and it will use up the bucket, but it will also use up the ingredient, you know what I mean? Like, it, th that'll be wasteful. So we sort of need to detect when it's empty. Um, I imagine, honestly, we could probably do that with, like, an observer, but, but I mean, that, that feels like it's going to get really messy really quickly, won't it? Um, fluid placer. Let's auto-craft one of these things and get it made. We'll also, we'll get a constructor. We might even have one already made, to be honest. Um, fluid placer, are you going to take your time? Apparently. It should be working, though. We shouldn't have to go and uh, check on it. Oh, yep. Oh, phew. I was, I was about to start complaining. Um, all right. Fluid placer. Ah, uh, it's either on or it's not. Okay. Okay. Th this, w I can work with this. I want to give it a shot. So I'm going to actually take it out here just to test. Um, in fact, yeah, this looks good. So, I want to get two buckets of water. Um, yeah, we're going to get two buckets of water. So, two of these, please. <laughs> yes, we are crafting buckets of water. That's apparently a thing we do. Um, which, once again, shouldn't take too long. Yep, here we go. Two buckets of water. Can I... How do I put the water in here? Is that not... I can't just bucket it in? That's that's good. That's nice. Okay, apparently we're not doing that. <sighs> you, you know, we... We can put lava. We can do lava. Here's the plan. I get a fluid pipe, we place down our tank, we put lava into here. So this guy is full of lava, he has 8 buckets of lava. If I then turn this on, he puts one bucket down, and that appears to be it, okay? He's only placed one bucket. What happens if I pick up this bucket of lava? Oh, I am, oh my god. Okay, he still only placed one, I, I didn't expect that to happen to be completely honest. <laughs> Can we grab a bucket? Yes. So, he's still only placed one. If I pick this back up, it places... Oh. It placed like a billion? <laughs> huh? Why did it go ahead and do that? Um, we'll pick up another bucket. One right click. Okay, that only used one. Pick up another one. That only used one. Okay, ideally, if I keep right clicking this, we should get eight. And honestly... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was a visual bug then, in the inside. It worked perfectly. That that works exactly as we need it to. That is genuinely, that, that, that is amazing. Um, all this stuff can go right back in there. Uh, fluid places. These are, these are perfect. We're going to need a lot more of this stuff though, so I'm going to go ahead and order about eight more, because I think we need nine total. So eight more of those will get uh, cooked up. That should be fine. And, and yeah, this is perfect. So... We can either place them in the walls. I don't know if we're allowed to do that. Um, but the the other option is probably the more obvious one. Is to just place them above, facing down. And we're going to have to run cabling it. Uh, can, can I place it facing down? I can. Okay. So, so I just need to be able to get there. Um, we can cheat a little bit. Not really like cheat, but you know, make this easier for us with a shrinking device. Now I can come down here and place it there. There we go. Perfect. It's, it's as good as new. Um... So yeah, I, I mean, I'll quickly place all of these. I might even wire it up, and I'll come back to show you it in action, I guess. Also, before we do this, 
Let me grab another fluid, um, whatchamacallit, fluid grid, if I can grab this out. Is he going to open his? We have, we don't have any starlight. I, I, you know what, I guess it's all going in here, which makes sense. And it's still filling up, even though this guy's still processing. So it's, honestly, it's not too bad. We just got to, I guess we just need to be patient. Um, all right, well. In, in that case, I'll, I'll still fix this up for, for next time. So I'll do most of this off camera. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to place it underneath because it does actually look a lot neater. Um, so we have the fluid places all under here. They're all, ooh, they're all always on, or at least they will be when I've done uh, turning them always on. Um, and yeah, what I've done is I've entangled a tank just so I didn't have to bring cables over here. Um, and the tank is told to be filled with liquid starlight. So this is fine. Once again, we, we probably... We probably will be using it somewhat soon. We just got to hope that other thing fills up eventually, um, which it should. I, I think it's just a matter of waiting for it. Um, but yeah, this part is pretty much done. The next part we're going to do quickly is the star metal dust. We're going to try to do it quickly. We'll see exactly how tricky it is. Um, for this guy, we actually are going to be using the player simulator. Um, this guy doesn't always work, but apparently it works this time. So we're going to give it a shot. Essentially, it tries to simulate player actions onto the world, right? Um, which sounds like what we want. I'm going to place a block here, the player simulator there. Um, I'm going to turn this off. So the player simulator is actually facing down. That's how this works. Um, we're going to have to hook him up with some cables. So let me scroll through and get some logic cables like that. Um, we're also going to need a dropper. How exactly do I want to do this? A dropper, 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 dropper. Um, I don't know. I'm not, ent I'm not entirely sure. Um, we want the... Dust to go in there, and then it does a thing. Let me also get an item collector while we're at it. I must have put it away earlier. Um, da -da 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 -da. Place this guy here. Make him just be a one-by-one. One. Going up, we can preview it. Yep, that looks good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we are also going to need a filter for this guy. So one of these allow lists. I want to go ahead and open this guy up. Oh, if I can. Um, we can clear that. Inside of this, I want to say you are only allowed to do Stardust. I can then place this into the item collector and he won't collect anything except for Stardust. So Star Metal ingots, he will not pick them up. He just won't do it. Beautiful. I mean, that's that's what we want. Um, okay. <laughs> so far, so good. The tricky part now is everything else. Let's go ahead and also get a... Um, we're going to need a chest. We're going to need an item interface. And we're going to need a variable card. And I... Possibly a logic programmer. Yeah, I think we need a logic programmer. So the logic programmer is going to have item, um, star metal cutting tool, and we're going to put that on, on a variable card. We're then going to open the player simulator and say, I want you to click item, star metal cutting tool. And in particular, I do not want you to right click. So we're going to get rid of that toggle. And I also don't want it to be continuous. That should now work. Um, assuming we put the tool in somewhere. So, we can attach a chest here. <laughs> I was just trying to pick a way to put it. We can attach that with the item interface. So now this chest is accessible by the system. We can place in our cutting tool. And then, let's give this a shot. I'm going to drop a star metal ingot. That should be getting whack. You just saw it happen. Stardust. It's that simple. That That is actually so beautiful. Um, so, I'm going to want to open this up. Down there, we're going to want to get an importer da, 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 and slap this on the side down there. Um, here we go. Nice. I can go super small. Oh, or I can't. Or I... Did I... What? It's acting as if I'm not actually still small. All right, there we go. I got it working. So down here, I want to place my importer and we want to obviously connect this to the network. So let's grab a cable and connect it um, up like that. Beautiful. So now the Stardust, when we put it in here, will get taken away. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, the next thing we need to do is tell this to make Stardust. Um, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, because this could make a mess. I want to get a clock, or like a timer. I think a clock should be fine. This guy's going to be placed under here, and we'll have him do a, a decent delay. It, it, he doesn't need to be instant, but they do need to just be tiny ticks. So, for example, if we have it down here, look at this. Every time that clicks, it's a it's a pulse. Um, actually, I will make it a little bit stronger. Let's do something like that. So it won't be instant, but it'll happen. Um, eh, 
you know what? We'll give it more of a delay. <laughs> um, what I want to do now is get a crafter. One of these bad boys. Open this up. Oop. And place our crafter facing into it. And I want to essentially have this guy be dumping um, star, star metal in here when we need it. Uh, so for that, I need a pattern. Do we have a spare pattern grid lying around? How quick can we craft one? All right, it didn't take too long. It, di it didn't take too long. We're going to open this guy up, assuming he gets placed properly. All right, and then we need to say um, star metal... Oh, star metal dust is made from a ingot. Oh, I need to go processing mode. So star metal ingot equals star dust. It is that simple, or at least it should be. So now we can place that into the crafter, like so. Um, I can probably also get a demagnetizer. So one of these bad boys, da -da 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 -da, and place this right under here. Make sure that he's redstone ignored, blacklist items. The range can just be one. It doesn't need to be too much. And that is pretty much it, I believe. So without further ado, let's search for star. Star dust. We have 17 at the moment. I would like a stack, to be honest. I'd like a stack. So what we should see is this guy should fill up. And every so often, he should drop one. There it is. One has been dropped, and it turns into dust. That, that, is, that is pretty good. It's, as you can see, it's a little bit um, slow. Slower than it needs to be. So we can actually we can bring the duration down and bring the delay down. So now every... Oh, I shouldn't be picking that up. In fact, I, I think I must have gotten too close to it. Um, yeah, there we go. Every 70 ticks, so that's probably about like three and a half seconds, give or take, um, it'll drop one. And that should work flawlessly. Ooh. Now, I think it got it, but that was a little bit scary, if I'm honest. We're going to go ahead and fill in the blocks around here to try and minimize that from happening. In fact, you know what? I am going to increase the range on this to be a three by three. Just so that we know that we've got it covered. Because it's, it's a big risk having a lot of items drop on the ground. You, you want to be, be pretty certain that you've made it safe. Alright, so that's pretty good. We've automated a lot of stuff now. Now let's try and crack down on the... Um, I believe what we want to do is the emeralds. We're, we're sort of slacking a bit on the, on the emerald department. Alright, so there's actually a few options. There's what we're currently doing, which is like... Oh, can I be tall again? Thank you. Um, which is bees and void miner. Um, we could tune the Void Miner to get some more. We could set up a laser lens to get some. So this is with a, um, a laser drill. These guys, in my experience, aren't the fastest, so I don't think it's worth it. Um, we can also do an Orchid. An Orchid turns stone into different types of ores, but I mean, that's not going to be nowhere near fast enough. Um, we could do a Crystal Lens. This can turn Diamond Ore directly into Emerald Ore. That, that could be fun. Um, we could do... Emerald Essence, I, I'm not really the biggest fan of using Mystical Agriculture. I, I much prefer the bees. They're a little bit trickier, in my opinion, than... Like, these are an easy button. Like, I make the seeds and then I'm done. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't really want to do that. Um, that's pretty much it. Except, word on the street, coming straight from the comments... By the way, all those other fixes we did uh, at the Astral Sorcery were from the comments of the last video. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but apparently, this Outlaw Enchant... Although it only says that it increases damage to villager mobs, apparently it drops emeralds. So, I kind of want to give that a shot. We're going to search hashtag outlaw. We actually do have a pretty high level outlaw in chan on um, this book. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to give it a shot. Um, I should... I thought I had a disenchanter. Yep, here it is. Um, I should be able to take these enchantments off. So let me just go ahead and grab all these. All right, there's outlaw. We've got it. Can I shove Outlaw on my, um, my weapon? Let's see if we can do this. Uh, I believe I need an anvil, don't I? Um, so there's our Paxel. Outlaw. No. Not letting me slap it on. I don't already have it? No. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, in that case, let me search for looting. I would love to chuck it on a sword that has, like, really high-level looting. Um, these swords are pretty good. What does this have? Looting, looting. I think I'll chuck it on this diamond sword. Even though we have, like, what? Curse of Vanishing and stuff. Um, diamond sword, outlaw. It doesn't go on either. It says... You, you can see under it, it has a picture, a picture of a sword, an axe, and a crossbow. So it can go on either of them. Um, okay. I, I mean, what we could do if we really wanted to is... Um, oh, is we could just grab one of these stone swords, right? I mean, this one has looting, it has beheading, it has the outlaw... 
Not the worst. Um, do we have any villagers lying around? No. I mean, I have to go back to that village from the other episode. Alright, we're back, and I have the villager. Now, I didn't think that villagers dropped emeralds. Um, you can melt them into emeralds. Ooh. Hold on. We have an interesting situation upon us. Do I set up a villager melting facility? Listen, it sounds horrific, but it also sounds really funny. I that still that wouldn't get us enough though. So that that's not worth it. Um <sighs> Outlaw plus one. Um okay, okay. I, I do think we need to set up a mob a mob duplicator again. So mob duplicator. I would like one please. We'll set this guy up. Um, I'll test him at the base to see if he works, and then we'll possibly set up a chamber to do it. The other option is we might be able to chuck a villager into a woot, uh, mob farm. That's an option. Um, whether we want to do that is a different, a different situation altogether. The other option as well, like, what, what genuinely is probably the easiest thing to do here, is to just set up another void miner and have it target specifically emeralds. That's honestly probably all we need to do, but... We're, we're making things a little bit trickier. I, I, I like to experiment with new things just to see, like, what we could do. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't have uh, Void Miners, what, what are you going to do? You're just going to farm up to get a Void Miner? <laughs> Honestly, probably. Um, all right. This guy, I want you to have Essence. Um, you want this Essence here. So, there we go. You're full of Essence. Um, you will need some power. So, let me get you an Ender Gate. Let me also get a button. Grab one of these bad boys. Da -da 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 -da. That's your power. That's your button. Um, redstone mode. Run with... On pulse. Chuck in a villager. Spawn the villager. I have no emeralds on me. Wait for this guy to spawn. Give him a few seconds. <laughs> there, there he is. And we're just going to simply... Um, get rid of him. Four emeralds. That's four emeralds with only looting three. And only outlaw four. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're doing this. We're doing this. Now... Mob farms are tricky, and they're tricky for a number of reasons. The obvious one is, I'm on a server, which means phew, it could get incredibly messy, which makes me want to set up Woot, because, I mean, that should, in theory, that should be the way to go. Do I want to do that? Not particularly. Am I going to do that? Honestly, probably. Uh, I, I'm trying to decide, because it's incredibly risky setting up mob farms, but it's also like, hmm... What do you reckon? What are we feeling? You know what? No, we're going to set up a mob shard. This one's unprogrammed. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to spawn a bunch of uh, dudes here. So I actually... Oh my god, I picked this whole thing up, didn't I? And... Uh, no, it's... Yeah, it's still empty. Alright. I'm going to kill a few villagers. And yeah. Alright, here it is. Um, captured the mob. And now we'll just quickly make some swift work of it. And we're going to we're gonna spawn a few. Alright, and this should be the last one. There. Boom. We have the mob shard. Okay. I want to go quickly create the mob control. I want to see exactly how much we're going to get from this to sort of like scale just how worth it it is. Um, so we're going to need, I believe it's a Stygian iron plate, uh, which apparently we don't have many of. So let's craft a bunch of them because why not? We should be able to. <laughs> we should be. Uh, yep. There we go. Um, and then we need a prism, which is glass in a thingy that the auto crafting for it doesn't work and I cannot be bothered fixing it. So <laughs> we're going to manually run over here. Alright, so the mob shard, the plate, and then we need to grab our prism, which should be in here waiting for us. Beautiful. Chuck that here. We need to hit it with a WA hammer. So this is... No, it's a, it's a YA hammer. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Right click it. We get a mob controller villager. Okay. So, first things first. Um, what do we want to try to replace to see what we get? Not the fire dragon. Not the enderman. And not the ender dragon. <laughs> um, we can try it up here. What do we have? Sheep. A creeper, a cow, and a skeleton. Let's try replacing the sheep just to see what happens. So here's our vill- Oh, no, it needs to be higher level. We can't even test it. All right, the sheep goes back. I'm going to test it in exchange for the enderman, which I believe is on this side. So pick up the enderman. We're going to place down this guy, our villager mob controller. We'll open this up. Refresh it, hopefully. Or is this it already here? It's not even showing that uh, you can get it as a drop. That is incredibly unfortunate. I, I mean, I think it's because of the outlaw thing. It's because the I I think the outlaw enchantment is the only reason you're actually getting um, these things. Um, ether gas, 
skulls, spawn times, looting. Hmm. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Uh, what do I want to do then? Now, now listen, if you're playing single player, I, I highly suggest, honestly, setting up a villager farm. And then I believe what you want to use is a pedestal with um, a, what should we call it? With a sword on it and, and one of these auto attackers. These things are banned on our server because pedestals are incredibly laggy on servers, right? But if you're playing single player, do that. Um, for our situation, we're actually going to have to do something a little bit different. Um, and honestly, I need to go into a compact machine. But I don't remember where I put it. Where was the compact machine that we had for... Oh, here it is, probably. Um, this, I believe, goes into... Yeah, this area here. Which looks intimidating. But it's not too bad. I need to get a... I believe it's a receiver. A redstone receiver. But it's one of these ones. It's one of these cool ones. Um, because... This guy lets me switch... Um, what should we call them? <laughs> what do we call them? Um, it lets me switch lenses. And I want to add a lime lens on so that we can start getting emeralds from our, uh, our void miner. So, what do I need to add here? Redstone receiver, and then I think I need to get a button module. To one of these guys here, button screen module. Um, let's try and see if I can remember what to do here. So, for example, if I want to place one in that chest there, I think I place this down. I shift right click it with this to bind it together. So our button screen module. I come over here, open up this guy, place in our button, and we can go ahead and call this, um, well, let's see what we did here. Yeah, this one's gonna be called Lime. And then we wanna make this guy centered. And there it is. Um, none of these are toggles, right? They're all just buttons. Yep, beautiful. Um, in the back of here, I believe I need to place in a lens. So I need to go ahead and get a Lime lens because I don't think we even have one, which is a little bit, can I craft these? Oh, I think I can, beautiful. Uh, for a second, I thought I was going to have to, um, what should we call it? Um, lens. Um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Have to go and, like, craft it manually, um, which would be annoying. So, I want to grab this. I want to grab a variable. Da -da 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 -da, and we'll grab our portable logic programmer. So, item, lime laser lens. Put that on the variable card. And then just chuck the variable card in the back there. And this should be it. That should be perfect. What we can do now is I can come over here. Right click on empty. Is it empty? Yes. Oh, it's already, it already is empty. Okay, beautiful. Next, I want to do lime. So I'm going to click lime. And what should happen is it should no longer be empty. That's, um, that's what should happen. I don't entirely remember if that works. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, wait, wait, no. There's one more step. I need to place the lime laser lens in there. Okay. Now it should work. <laughs> I, I forgot that integral part. Right click lime. Let's see. Does this work? So far, no. But let's see in here. It's no longer in there. It's no longer anywhere else. It should be working. So I think this part that says, is it empty, just doesn't work. We didn't fix that properly or something. Um, so let's go check now. We are back in the overworld. Um, let's fly out this window and go check on our, um, our drill, which should be over here. You should be lime. He has the lime in there. I just think it might be visually not updated, which is fine. Let's open this up, go into mineable drops, and let's see if it is. We'll know if it is, because things that are green, or I guess things that are lime, should have a really high percentage. They currently don't, which makes me think it's currently not working. Um, Alright, let's manually take this out, and place it back in. Well, if I can. Huh. It doesn't appear to be letting me place it back in. Um, huh. I don't... I don't really know what to do. You know, you know what? It's because I'm incredibly dumb. This is an industrial foregoing uh, laser lens. What? <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> that is completely the wrong, the wrong lens, the wrong mod. Oh my god! Listen, 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 listen. We don't do much thinking here, okay? <laughs> we do things until they don't work, and then we go, "Huh? Why didn't that work?" <laughs> oh my god, that's so dumb. Do we even have a lens grinder here? Oh, we probably have one back where we just were, won't we? Back in uh, here. No, back in here. All right, l listen, listen, listen. We <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I, I know what I'm doing, okay? Okay, I know exactly. This shouldn't be here. Why is this here? Uh, I think it's fine. <laughs> I don't think it should be there, but okay, okay. Um, lens grinder. Beautiful. 
colored lens. Lime. Make me a lime. It's that simple, guys. It's <laughs> that's embarrassing. Um, all right. We have our lens. We come over here. We actually need to edit this entire thing because we have the wrong, the wrong thing in there. So item, this lens, upgrade it. Open this guy up. Chuck this in. Export item. Chuck this in there. And now we should be good. So lime. There we go. Let's go double check. This guy's empty. This guy's empty. This guy's empty. Be beautiful. We did our check. This still says that it is empty, but that's wrong. Okay, okay. <laughs> this should be fine. Everything should be fine. Relax, relax. Everyone remain perfectly calm. All right, we have the green laser lens. That's beautiful. It looks amazing. Mineable drops. Um, we should see, for starters, this guy's at a high percentage. But importantly, we should be able to find emeralds. All right, here we are. Emerald ore is at a 10%. Not amazing, but also not horrible. Let's now have a look at what that actually means. Let's search emerald. Um, how quickly are we now gaining emeralds, I guess? Um, we're getting probably... Well, it's not actually looking too good, is it? It looks like 100 every 10 seconds, give or take. Like, I, I know that's probably not accurate, but... We're not getting nearly as much as I probably want. Oh, this is just rough, isn't it? Um, I don't know what to do. Alright, um, change of heart. Big change of heart. What we're going to do is we're actually going to change this back. Well, not, not change the back, sorry. We're going to make a completely new one. That's that's just what we're going to do. I need one of these alloy things. Void miner. We're going to craft one. That should be simple. I actually need a few more of these to be built. Um, the next thing we need to do is make everything we need for it, which is going to be a little bit messy because we need like 100 frames and stuff. I'm assuming we have everything we need, but it's possible that we're missing something. And yeah. Now, here's where it gets a little bit messy. Where am I going to put it? To be honest, I think I'm going to place it here because this is what? This is... Oh, well, this is a bit messy, isn't it? I've somehow built it in four chunks, haven't I? I really, <laughs> This is really not like a prime example of how to do things. Um, Ideally, I want it to be within one chunk if it can fit, which I think it can. So this is like really embarrassing. Um, And yeah. What I could probably do is place it underneath the solar panels just to make up some more room. And we could even, um, we could do the same thing we did over there with, like, the path into the ground. So, that's probably what we'll do. Void Miner. This guy. Oh, do you think they've added the auto building? Do you think? I, I'm going to be honest. I'm doubtful. We're going to place some blocks here. Break this and this. I'm going to place this guy down. Open him up. Let's see. Um, auto utility. Oh, the button is there. Oh, my God. You guys are about to be in for a treat. Like, an actual treat. This is about to be beautiful. Is that within the middle? It's, it's not within the middle. It's in the center of the, the thing. But, well, I guess, you know what? All of these are force loaded anyway for the solar panels. That it doesn't really matter if it's a bit off for this specific situation. So, let, let's do it. Break this, this. Place this guy back down. All right. I, I'm incredibly excited. Let me get all the items in my inventory. And I'll meet you guys back here. All right. I believe I have everything on me. Except for uh, the lens. But, here we go. Um... We're going to open this guy up, go into auto utility. We're going to click build multi-block. Oh my God. How long did that take? Time it. Because that was instead of us doing it manually. How insane is that? Then we have the, the power input. We have our modifiers still that we got to place down manually if we want to. And we have our item outputs. We actually have three of them. So item output can go there. Item output can go there. Item output can go there. Let's double check. Is this within a chunk before we... It's within the loaded chunks. That's what matters. Because these other ones are loaded already. Um, we're, we're being a little bit smart this time. Um, the input for the power can go there. That should be fine. Then we can go ahead and place our modifiers. I went ahead and grabbed uh, 10 frequency and 10 bandwidth. It's possible... Um, we'll need more. Did I have more frequency? I must have had some on me already. This is beautiful though. I am incredibly happy with this. Um... Yep, that's going down into the ground. I will need do, 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 another lens, which is well. Actually, you know what? We can use the one in here um, because I need that. I need essentially the emerald lens, right? So if we go ahead and switch this to a white one, I think that works. By the way, so let's see. This should this guy should end up with his stuff, and the one with the white lens, which is in here, should have been emptied. It's possible that what I need to do is empty it manually. Give it a few seconds, and then do the white one. And then let's see if that works. 
So now this guy, <laughs> once again, should should have gotten a thing, but it didn't work. That's good. It's nice when something just isn't working, isn't it? All right, well, that system, uh, that stopped working at some point. Not sure why. <laughs> Not sure why at all, but I, I guess it did. So, so that's great. We'll have to, I don't know, have a crack at that again in another episode, I guess. Um, in the memory programmer, we are going to want to get some flash memory. So we'll quickly craft one up. This stuff we've all set up in the past, so if you're a little bit confused, um, I'd suggest, I don't know, trying to hunt down that previous video. What we're going to do is we're going to chuck it in here, flash memory. And I believe I might do multi-miner and then crystal miner. I think that's what I want, crystal miner. So this guy will fill up and we'll get the crystal miner. That's not here, is it? There's like ore miners, metallic gemstone. I think we want a crystal. Is an emerald a crystal or a gemstone? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, we're, hey, we're going to find out. So um, inside of here, I can place the white lens just to... You know what? I don't know if it needs to be there, but it's there. So it doesn't matter at the end of the day, I think. Um, over here, we're going to place in our lime lens, which should update this guy to be hopefully getting the good stuff. Um, in particular, what we're going to have to do is go all the way down here and um, dig down to bedrock, essentially. So, I'll equip this guy, scroll him down to be maximum speed, and, um, uh, you know what? A little bit of small tunnel could probably do a trick, a trick or two here. Alright, so we are now down to bedrock. Um, the water is following. We don't really want water down here, and I think it is a problem. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I could grab the building gadget. This guy right here. What's he currently set to do? Something we don't have. Um, we can change that up with sand because I believe we have sand. And then for starters, we can do a little bit of this. That should do the trick. We might even have to fill in the inside with um, sand to get rid of all that extra water, which is a little bit annoying, but I mean, also not the end of the world, is it? All right, that is all of the sand. You can see the lasers come down here. It's blinding us as we as we retreat back to the surface. But this should be good. I believe this should be getting us emeralds. Um, in order to check real quick, let's go ahead and grab just a chest, one of these bad boys. We're going to slap this guy on one of the item outputs and see what we get. Ah, we're getting, like, these crystals, which is not the crystal that I thought it would be. Oh, well, actually, we haven't put the thing in yet. Let's chuck in the crystal miner. But I still... I'm now thinking that's, yeah... Probably all it's going to drop, isn't it? Yeah. Um, let's take that back out. We need to switch this. We need to get, I guess, a gemstone miner. Gemstone? We'll, we'll give it a shot. So, this memory is going to go back in. We're going to go... Let me look real quick. Resource? No, I don't think it's there. We already checked the multi-miner. Ore miner. We'll try gemstone. We'll give it a shot. Have this guy fill up and, and, and see what we get. So you obviously, you see what it is by chucking it in there and then clicking on that mineable drops uh, thing. So we open this up, chuck it in, then mineable drops. We can have a look in here. This looks more like it. Yes, there are our emeralds. 27%. That's a lot more that we can work with. If we search emerald, it has, well, well I guess it's not really looking too good because it's all getting put into this chest instead of into the system. But even then, it's not even, oh, we don't have power. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not even doing it. Um, let's go ahead and get these ender gates. These are really good. Uh, do you think... I, I don't know if they'll be powerful enough. You know, I, I might get flux points. We, we have a few. One, two... Actually, I think I only need one. Um, and we need to find the power input, which is here. Slap this guy down. Still within the chunk. He's already set up. We're going to do disable limit. That will chuck in whatever this guy needs. So now if we check out this chest, it should be overflowing. Yeah, it's... You could say it's working. You could, you could definitely say it's working. So I'm going to break this. It's going to make a mess. We're going to get a ender chest. Assuming we have the inventory space. So let's maybe do that real quick. Grab one of our ender chests. Da -da 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 -da, and slap it down there. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We can dump all this junk back in. Grab all, all of this. Pretty much anything. I mean, this is just our ME system, essentially. Okay. So now, what are we looking at in the Emerald Department? Is it a little bit more impressive? Um, you could say that. And you'd be... You'd be stating... It would be an understatement, what you're saying. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, you know what? I, I, have a, I have a situation I want to do here. I'm actually going to pick this up. Uh, it's going to be a bit messy. And I'm going to apologize in advance. But I want to go ahead and get a chest. 
In particular, I want to get a big chest. So we're probably going to like um, keep upgrading one of these chests to like iron and diamond and, and do all of that stuff. So let me go ahead and figure out <laughs> exactly how to do that. Iron chest. Oh yeah, they um they changed their textures. So iron chest into what does it go into? Gold chest. That makes sense. I'm gonna go all the way up to uh big chest. <laughs> Alright, we have ourselves a crystal chest. I'm gonna place it here. And as you can see, it's gonna fill up with a bunch of junk. I'm maybe I shouldn't have done a crystal one, <laughs> but it's gonna fill up. Um I actually wanna be dumping everything except for um emeralds because they're just going to overload my system and I don't need that much of anything else. And if I do, I can just add it to the filter. So this seems like the smart option here. Um, so we're going to have, uh, yeah, I need to grab a trash can. Now, obviously, you know, for, it, yeah, I mean, I mean th this is just like, we don't need, we don't need this much stuff. Like it's incredibly overkill. Let's go ahead and change this back into an item pipe. Place down, um, what are we going to do here? Yeah, we can place down two like this. One of these will be a diamond chest, which can be absolutely overloaded with everything, assuming that we da, 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 make this guy extract. I'm going to open him up. I'm going to... Oh, yeah, what am I going to do here? Hold on. I kind of didn't really plan this out entirely well. Um, I think what I actually want to do is place two of these. One of them will be a whitelist. So filter mode whitelist. Um, ignored. We're going to add this, and I think I need to actually have an emerald ore on me, so let me grab this. Um, opening back up. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> All right. Emerald ore goes in here. Submit. This should now be whitelisted. We should... Yeah, look at that. Only the emerald ore is being taken out. Perfect. And then, we want to make this guy a blacklist, so we're actually going to need another pipe. Da -da 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 -da. Another pipe. There we go. Chuck this in. Um, set him to blacklist, and add an emerald ore. And now, if I chuck a trash can... Um, on top, like that. We should see everything else empty. And that, that's it. That's beautiful. So, like, obviously there's, like, diamonds and stuff in here, I think. No, I didn't even really... Oh, yeah, there's a bit of diamonds. If we need them, we can add them to the whitelist. It's that simple. Um, so, now we're only getting extra emeralds. Which means our system should hopefully have stopped being over-flooded with um, all the other ores. Um, in fact, if we search ore, we can probably see, like, just an insane amount of them. These ones are fine. It's the ones down here that only got a few K. Like, uh, you know what? Interesting. Very interesting. Let me let me double check on our furnaces. So, um, we've got ones down here. These guys are specifically for my recipes. Because you do not need this many furnaces like 24-7. So, that's just when I need to smelt like, I don't know, some dry rubber or some charcoal and whatnot, right? Over here in the processing area, this is where my furnace used to be. And um, Polly went ahead and re-entangled it because it was... Spitting out, like, they spit out so much XP. It was, it was making a big mess. Um, so now it's spitting the XP into lava. Um, this guy, as you can see, he's going pretty quickly. He's going pretty quickly. Um, can he keep up? He should be able to. The only addition is emeralds. So he, he should be able to keep up. He's currently not able to keep up. What is our solution to this? Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure. We could set up specifically just a... Emerald furnace chest, uh, an emerald furnace. Sorry, should we do that? I think uh, honestly, I think we might. Let's search our nether brick. We I mean, we might as well while we're here, you know. So all I'm gonna do is space this out. I'm gonna go ahead and break three of these. We'll go ahead and grab some um, lava. So we'll grab one, two, three, and I'm just gonna go one, two, and three. Beautiful. And then if I search unobtainium, I should be able to craft an unobtainium furnace. And we'll make one specifically only for emeralds. I'm hoping as well I can place it right next to it. Should I? You know what? For the sake of um being a little a little safe here, let's get let's search um uh nether oh my god, I'm struggling. Nether brick. Grab more of these and we'll grab three more lava buckets because um da -da 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 -da. I wanna have a gap in between with the lava. You know what I mean? Just in case like it spits out too much experience. All right, let's go ahead and see if we've got in our thing. Unobtaining furnace. There it is. This guy's going to slap down there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and entangle him. He's going to be coming with me. Um, I'll probably end up taking him back to the entire... Um, our actual auto crafting area. So he can stay there. I'm going to go ahead and run away. I'm going to run into our crafting galore. Um, fly up here. Da -da 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 -da. Slap this guy down. Go ahead and get a exporter. Da -da 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 -da. Now this is overkill. 
this is overkill for emeralds. But we can add a few extra things that can't uh, suffice in the other furnace into this. We don't we don't need to split up everything, or else it'll just be like. I'm gonna be honest. I, I still don't even know if I if this is needed. Can we double check real quick before we do this emeralds? We're still gaining more emeralds, so like yeah, this extra one is a bit too much. Um, okay. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and chuck in emerald ore. There we go. Um, so that I mean already that that should be fine. If we go back here, uh, well actually let me grab a heat. What are they called? A wireless heat receiver. We need to run on top of our roof, I believe. This is where we have the uh, the heat transmitter, right here. I'm going to chuck in this guy. So now he's linked. Beautiful. It's that simple. <laughs> We're going to fly back over to our processing. And da -da -da, over here. Open this guy up. Inside goes this. And this is this is it working, if you can believe that. This is... I'm I'm pretty sure this is it working. How can we be for, How can we be sure? Let's search Emerald. They're all gone. All of the ores are gone. They're done. They smelted. It's... Yeah, it's very overkill. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, I, I don't know what I want to do here. Because, like... Emerald is literally the only thing. This only extra resource, at the moment at least, that we need more of. And that this one uh, miner is not capable of. And somehow, this guy's not capable of taking care of just the emeralds. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we want to do. What we could do, actually, is we could move these to be underneath their Void Miner. You know what I mean? That might be a bit safer to have them, like, only void, only smelt for their Void Miner. Maybe? Um, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to try and come up with a better idea. Um, but yeah, that's... I still don't know if even that solves our Emerald problem. I don't know. L like, it, it, it's difficult. Because at the moment, we have speed upgrades and stuff on it, right? What I could do, if I wanted to is grab some amplification modifiers. In fact, I probably want three more if we want to finish this off, which I kind of do. And I can replace all of these with amplification. And what should happen, if I do that, is our percentage for emerald ore should go up. So currently, our percentage for emerald ore is at 27.8%, right? Let's see what happens if I go ahead and pick up all of this stuff. And then replace it with an amplification modifier, which, as you can see by the nice tooltips Polly made, Improves the accuracy for the lens. So we're going to add these in. 27.8, I believe it was. Around about there. These amplification uh, dudes go in. We wait for the laser to show up again. There it is. Open him up. Mineable drops. 98%. Holy moly. Holy moly. But the issue is, like, that sounds incredible. But look in here. Look at how many emeralds we are getting. Can you see how many? We're getting one. How are we getting one? <laughs> Like, the one over there is still mining emeralds. But, like, th that is ridiculous. How little emeralds we're getting. Because we just don't have any speed modifiers or anything. So, we need to add speed modifiers. Frequency of the speed modifiers. And bandwidth of the amount of items you get, right? So, let's go ahead and replace one of these with, I guess, the amount of items you get. Let's have a look. Let let's see what that does to the system here. Um, by the way, the, what I'm looking at to read how many items we have is see, um, there's emerald, then Minecraft emerald, then S gear material that's in like the yellow. We go down to Minecraft in the blue. Below that, it says hold control to see tags. Below that is the number of items we get. And it's slowly going up. It's very lackluster, the amount that it's going up. But it's more. It's more than one one at a time, right? So then, we go ahead and we, we add in some speed modifiers. And then bit by bit, we end up getting rid of all of the... Uh, amplification ones. Um, so, like, if I chuck this in, this should be pretty good. Like, how much are we getting now? We gotta wait for the lens to show up again, I think. So, there we go. The lens is on. That's a lot better. We are getting 100 every second. That is a lot better. Let, let's oh, let's uh, pick that up real quick. What? Why is this? We're still at 80%. Oh, my God. Okay. I want to see something. If I break an entire another section here, and add in speed modifiers. Um, we'll wait for the, the lens disappeared. We gotta wait for it to restart. Okay, it's restarted. What percentage are we still at? We're at 50, so it's gone down a lot. How's that looking in the emerald department though? Mm, probably just as good as it did previously. Maybe a bit better. But like we, we can mix and match, I guess. Like what if I what if we do a little bit of this? You know? Try because from 50% or from 80% to 50, that's a big jump. 
We should not be losing that much. This looks a lot better. 76, and we get some extra speed in there. Um, let's get back up here. Oh, look at all those emeralds showing up. It might be a bit better than it was before, but that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, I think I'm happy with this. Let me know, by the way, if you have, like, the perfect combination. Like, if you know exactly, like, do this, easy win. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> please do let me know. Um, I, I mean, I think that's it, right? Uh, was there anything else to do this episode? I think there was. I, th I think one thing that we could automate, and it's been this for a little bit, is, um, oh, yeah, the blood magic. Oh, I was meant to do a lot of blood magic. Next episode. <laughs> I know I probably said that last episode, but next episode, we'll do, uh, we'll do the blood magic stuff. Um, I, I've had a comment, a few comments, really, to show me how to automate the um, sigil, the void sigil, this guy here. So we should be able to hopefully automate him. Um, and yeah, before we end the episode, can we craft a new ATM star? That would be very nice. I don't know. Um, usually I click here, right? And then we see if we can craft everything. So, with his compass... You know what? Before we do with this compass, can I... Is it full? I don't want to start it and there not be enough uh, sacrificial blood. Is this guy full? He is. 40,000. Beautiful. So, <laughs> let's try this again. Um, okay. With this compass, we're going to need to manually craft one of those. And then we still... Oh, we barely have enough emeralds. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to get this done. Just real quick. Um, huh. We're wait oh, yeah, damn. I think we're waiting on the um the other guy. Oh wait, 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 wait. I think I know what we need needed to do it. <laughs> Apparently I'm struggling to talk. I think Um What's happening? <laughs> what's happening? Um I really don't know. Can I go in here? Um this guy here, is he making the stuff that I need? Yeah, he is. Okay. And I guess he's just being slow because how do we not have enough? This is outrageous. Is he not fully chunk loaded or something when I'm gone? Uh, maybe. All right. Well, we can't really do much there. We just sort of have to wait for him, which is annoying, but uh, I guess it's fine. So I I, th I think we're done. I should at least be able to make this dimensional uh, shard or dimensional seed. We can. This uses all of our emeralds, right? Hold on though. If I remember correctly, I'm not going to make that. I'm not going to make it. In the next episode, we're going to try and make these centrifuges. Reason being, have a look at this. Um, for the centrifuge casing, we need about 36 of it or something. I, I don't remember exactly. But this will cost me 400,000 more emeralds. I want to save up for this, and I want to craft it. Because what this does, if we look at our centrifuge... Uh, actually, I can probably just click on this and get this. Currently, we have the diamonds here, which multiplies the output by 4. So, w we're getting emeralds from this. Possibly not at the, the same rate as our void miner, but we're getting emeralds. And it's being multiplied by 4. This guy multiplies by 8, which will double everything, including our wither stuff, so our nether stars and all of that. E everything. So it's definitely worth doing. I need to remember to do it. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, we got a few things done. We did some of that astral sorcery automation, which was actually really nice. Let's let's double check. Star dust? Yeah, nice. We, we got a pretty good amount. Um, and yeah, and we also did... Oh yeah, the liquid starlight up there. Um, and then, you know, we tried to tackle the emeralds. Yeah, I, I, genuinely though, if you're playing single player, um, or if you happen to be on a different server that uh, isn't running into issues with uh, pedestals, I would highly suggest using the Outlaw Enchant, so Outlaw, um, Outlaw Enchant, on a sword with like max tier looting, and on an attack pedestal. So pedestal has these um, attacking upgrades you can do, and that would be really good. That would be really good. The reason why we don't have that is not only a pedestal's laggy, but it would be a mob farm, right? And that's just... That's like lag on top of lag because of all the mobs and then all the drops and stuff. Um, so yeah. Oh, he's taking it away. Oh, it looks like someone tried to try to do yoink stuff. Ah, um, oh, unfortunate. Anyway, I remember who was there. So thank you for supporting me financially. Oracle, Skeletor Jacob, Oathis, Derpy Snow Luna, Mugs, and the Rifty who have supported me through donation links um, and other other forms of donations. Like a few of these have uh, provided some cool plugins for like um, this server, the RL Craft server, and and just like the hub servers in general. Like uh, the claiming plugin and um, a new one that we're working with, which is really cool. It's like interactive boards. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, thank you to to coolest V Rifty and Mugs who have supported me by being channel members here on the YouTube's. Um, so thank you guys. 
And in the um, previous stream we did, um, we had someone donate uh, two Canadian dollars. Uh, oh, I, I, I can't remember the name. This is outrageous. This is actually outrageous. Um, I feel bad now. Hold on, hold on. L let, me, let me see if I can dig it up. Okay, um, a few things. The, the first one is, is the worst thing possible. <laughs> so I went back into the stream to, to see, because I, I remember I read out the name and I was like, oh, that, thank you for that and, and stuff. Um, apparently, and, and I think I'll have to double check, I think that my microphone wasn't outputting on the stream for the entire time. And I guess no one realized, including myself. So that that's fun. That's fun. So for those of you watching, I hope you enjoyed not hearing me. <laughs> so that, that that's great. That, that's, that's wonderful. Um... Wow, that 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 is amazing. Um, <laughs> I I want to say it was like Kotha, that 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 rings a bell. I think it was Kotha. Um, who, whoever you were, thank you, thank you for your two Canadian dollars. Um, and to everyone else watching the video, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully, I will see you guys in the next one. As always, if you have some suggestions for for what we're doing here to to get things working a bit better, like the emeralds, like they're coming in fast, but honestly, do I just set up more? And we just have like four emerald miners. And we do the same thing where we just void everything except for the emeralds. And we just have that one emerald furnace doing like emerald, 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 emerald. That's not the worst idea. We, we could do it. Especially the fact that they build themselves now. The auto building. Amazing. We could probably do it. Let me know if that's um, probably our best, our best choice there. I, I wanted to say as well. In MC Eternal, I'm pretty sure Industrial Foregoing had a like trading thing. Where you could essentially set up trades with like an imaginary villager, right? So like, it would have like this for this much wheat for emeralds. That would be awesome to automate that, automate trading. Um, let me know if there's another mod in here that somehow does automated training because uh, trading. Because I also know that like, there's probably a way to get these emeralds that isn't even shown on here. Like for example, the whole um the molten emeralds from smelting up um you know what 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 was I gonna say here for smelting up uh villagers. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that was the thing. Um, so let me know. Do let me know. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So I didn't want like a, a music company um, copyright striking my videos in like the future. So uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this this is the best I could do. I'm I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> uh, you know what? In hindsight, silence might have been better. Well. You live and you learn. Doo -doo.